Good morning, Willow class. I just wanted to bring you up to speed on what we had done so far in our guided reading. Now, this week we started to look at the story of Stig of the Dump by Clive King. We haven't read very much so far. We've read the introduction. Sorry about my cat. We've read the introduction, which introduces us to the character of Barney. And we've also read the part about the pit. Now, the pit is quite a big setting within the story. And yesterday we looked at the setting description, looking at the key vocabulary that the author had chosen. And also we tried to create our own picture using that vocabulary, thinking about what it created within our minds. So this, for the rest of the week, we are going to focus on the next part of the story, which I'm going to read to you now. And then each day there is an activity that is attached onto the website which will help you to explore the language for effect. Now, for what I mean by language for effect is why has the author chosen specific words and what impact does it have on the reader? How does it make you feel for the readers? Does it create um, suspense? Does it create drama? How does it make you feel? So the part we are going to look at today begins. Barney felt his head going down and his head, feet going up. There was a rattle of falling earth beneath him. Then he was falling, still, clutching the clump of grass that was falling with him. This is what it's like when the ground gives way, thought Barney. Then he seemed to turn a complete somersault in the air, bumped into the ledge of chalk halfway down, crashed through some creepers and ivy and branches and landed on a bank of moss. His thoughts did those funny things they do when you bump your head and you suddenly find yourself thinking about what you had for dinner last Tuesday, all mixed up with seven times six. Barney lay with his eyes shut, waiting for his thoughts to stop being mixed up. Then he opened them. So today and on Thursday, you're going to use that extract and see if you can work out how the author has created that suspense. On Friday, you will look at where Barney landed and you're going to, again, similar to what we did with the pit, look at this description, look at how the author has used describing phrases to describe and paint that picture in the reader's mind of where Barney was. Good luck, Willow class. If you need help, don't hesitate to get in touch.